Uh, it's getting old. I don't want to do this again. Uh, now to a developing story. Flood cleanup continues in Boardman. These big trash bins are out and people are filling them up. Sunday's rain may be long gone, but days later, people are still working to clear away the mess. And now township leaders are answering hundreds of calls, figuring out what's next. Here's First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti. It didn't take long after a pair of dumpsters were dropped off at the Boardman Government Center. Neighbors started tossing in bags of waterlogged clothing and carpeting, all ruined by Sunday's flooding. I don't know, it's like business as usual. It's like, like I said, this is the second time since 2019. Jim Fergan admits he's gone through this enough to know not to keep anything of significant value in his basement. Dan Swanick had to rip out his carpeting after the water came in. Nothing I could do about it. I mean, when it starts coming out of that drain, it just, I tried to shop back as much as I can as it was coming and take it out. Ever since the township established a cell phone hotline number to report flood damage, the township's administrator has been swamped taking calls and messages. You know, that's something that we need to ask the sanitary office, okay? By mid morning, Jason Lurie had already taken 150 calls and his voicemail stopped working. The majority of these calls, about 95% of them, sanitary backup coming into the floor drain in the basement. One of those reports came from Gloria Nemec, who sent these photos of her flooding basement. I could have died. I, I just seen the water gushing in. She says just about everything was ruined. My washer doesn't work. My dehumidifier doesn't work. The hot water tank is lost. Um, I'm not sure about the dryer. For now, the administrator says officials will compile a list of claims to submit as part of their request for a damage declaration from the governor. In Boardman, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.